What's up everybody? It's Travis here from Travis.media. Here's the question today. Should developers generalize or specialize? Should they learn lots of languages and have lots of skills to offer? Or should they master one language and market themselves as that expert? I saw a tweet recently where somebody asked the same question and there was like a hundred plus comments split down the middle 50-50. Some people said specialize, others said, no, you gotta generalize. Well, in this video, I'm gonna share with you what I think is the one solution for this whole debate. All right, so before we get started, if you're wondering who I am, my name is Travis. I'm a self-taught software developer of like four to five years. I started this channel to document my journey and to share what I'm learning along the way. And it's turned into a resource for new developers trying to get into the industry, for people trying to level up their coding skills, and really just for me, a way to share the things I'm learning because I love to learn from other developers. So I'm trying to return the favor. If these things interest you, consider hitting that subscribe button below. Also hit the bell to be alerted when new videos are released. So here it is. Here's my solution to the whole debate in one sentence. Developers should generalize concepts and specialize languages. Let me say that again. Developers should generalize concepts and specialize in languages. Now, let me break it down. Let's start with generalization. Now, it's never right to think that people should generalize in the sense that they should learn lots of languages. I think people have that misconception, like a generalist knows lots of languages and lots of technologies and can do everything. That's not really the right approach to generalization. Generalization has more to do with having a solid programming foundation, being able to read documentation, and understanding the core concepts that are shared across many languages and technologies. For instance, many languages share the same principles, the same concepts, right? You got variables, you got arrays, you got objects, functions, conditionals, things like that. If you're grounded in these concepts, you know what each one of these things are, then when you're shifted, you know, your boss says, hey, we need you to start doing this thing in this other language, you know these concepts and you can pull up the documentation and come up to speed pretty quick on that language to get the job done. Now, you're not gonna be a master, you're not gonna be able to just jump right in it and nail it, but those programming foundations will take you a long way. Some programming languages use dollar signs. Many use brackets, return statements, key value pairs, parameters, import statements, things like this. Also, there's principles that you learn like separation of concerns, abstraction, clean coding, MVC. Again, things that are shared across many languages. So if you need to create an array, you're programming in a language you're not familiar with, you need to create an array, and you know what an array is? You just look up how to create an array in that language. So all developers should seek to generalize concepts and principles. Have that solid programming foundation so that you can adapt to other languages and technologies. So generalize concepts and principles. Now let's move to the specialization. I personally still think it's very important to specialize in one language. And I mean language, not a framework like I specialize in Angular, specialize in JavaScript instead, and also add something like Angular to it. So in my own coding blueprint course, which is free by the way, I'll put a link above. In this course, uh, the students learn HTML, CSS, and core JavaScript, mainly DOM manipulation. After that, they're encouraged to choose a specialty because the idea is to get their foot in the door somewhere. So if they liked JavaScript, they might move on to React. If they liked WordPress previously, they might move on to PHP and stick with that for a while, six months, a year, really nail it down, become good at it. So when they go to land that job and they say, hey, we need a React developer or we need a JavaScript expert, you may not be an expert, but you're gonna be good at that language because you're specializing in that language. Now you still have the general concepts so that you can shift around if needed, but you have a deeper understanding of this specialization. Another good thing about specialization is that going deep on a language like this not only makes you more marketable in that specialization, but it actually makes you a better programmer because you get, as you get deeper into that language, you learn more about programming, things like design patterns. Like you make it deep into it and you're like, how do people really structure this kind of code and they get into like solid principles related to that code, but then they realize, hey, solid principles are, are good all around. 
You may pick up little concepts like hoisting in JavaScript, things like this that you get into deeper than make you understand programming better by specializing. So all that is to say, it actually makes you a better programmer because you're not just surface level in a lot of languages. You get deep enough. Specialization is also really important for freelancers and consultants. It allows you to set up shop in a very specific field in which you can target specific people or groups. Because basically it sets you up as the expert in that specific thing. And for the nine to fivers, you'll stand out because you specialize in that particular thing too. So if a company hires you to be a React developer and you've been doing JavaScript and React for two years straight, you're the man. You're gonna know what you're doing and they're gonna know that you know what you're doing. So in conclusion, these two aren't at odds with one another. They're actually compatible. Developers should specialize in a language and probably one additional step into a framework like PHP, Laravel, JavaScript, React. And at the same time, they should be a generalist in programming principles and concepts. So again, developers should generalize in principles and concepts and specialize in languages. So just embrace both. Well, hey guys, thanks for watching. I hope this video was helpful. Again, if you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button. I'll see you in the next video.